Hello, I'm Dan, the editor of War Games Illustrated, and I'd like to take you on a tour of this, the latest magazine, WI422, February 2023. We begin, as ever, with Quickfire, our home for short reads from your fellow gamers about their projects and adventures. And while I'm here, I'd like to appeal for more. Send us a couple of hundred words and a few pictures about your latest hobby project or activities, please. We're always on the lookout for more Quickfires. WI Digital is our exciting new development for WI Prime members. Every month we will be making available, free to download, digital files for Prime people. And in this article we introduce you to February's models, beginning with two Russian Civil War era Ukrainian anarchists, Nesta Makon and Freder Schluss, before moving on to our World War II objective markers. In Observation Post, we take a look at new product releases in the hobby. This month we have some intriguingly eclectic figure releases for you. Full Paper Jacket provides you with a guide to new Wargamer friendly book releases. Before we move on to Dobsaw's release radar, you're pointed towards a wealth of new releases from buildings to mosses, paper panzers, elephants, gremlins, 15mm pulp and more besides. This month's magazine theme is Insurgency, and in our lead article, Chasing the Wind, Pete Brown explores a range of campaign settings with an insurgency angle, taking us on a ride across a multitude of periods and conflicts and concluding with a couple of exclusive photos by Alan Perry. In late 2022, we began our first foray into 3D printing here at Wargames Illustrated. Our office manager, Ian, took up the mantle of printer operator, and in this article he gives you a clear and honest account of his adventures in the world of curing machines, build plates, STL files and more. A vital read for anyone new to the often foreboding world of 3D printing. This article will gently provide you with all the information you've been afraid to ask before getting started. We return to our theme in this next article, introducing readers to the Makonovist insurgency, which took place during the Russian Civil War, and providing background, gaming ideas, and a link to the modern war in Ukraine. Spoiler alert! I'm going to whiz past this next article to avoid giving away any of the winners of the 2022 War Games Illustrated Awards. A happy coincidence of release schedules means that Grey For Now Games happen to be releasing their Partisan Resistance Cell expansion to their popular O200 Hours game just as we release this insurgency themed magazine, providing an ideal opportunity for writer and figure designer Graham to tell us all about the new characters, cards and rules in the supplement. Here, Paul Davis has some kit bashing fun with a Sarissa MDF armoured train, changing its appearance and creating something straight out of the Russian Civil War. The Boxer Rebellion seems to be somewhat en vogue at the moment, with some great miniatures for the conflict being recently released, along with an excellent series of books from Partisan Press. In this Designer's Notes article, we take a look at the Righteous Harmonious Fists, a wargamer's guide to the Boxer Uprising, speaking to the two men behind the book. Last month, we provided you with a quick and simple guide to painting triremes for Talassa, the ancient naval ship combat game. This month, we dive a little deeper with Brushman Callum France, showing you some advanced techniques for getting the best out of your galleys. In the last of our theme articles, Neil Smith shines a spotlight on some of the fascinating women of the World War II French Resistance, and provides formal heavy gaming scenarios. This next article is a crazy mashup between Xanos Rampant, the new game from Osprey, and Mark's Little Soldiers, the new Rangers figures from Cobbleston Castings. Rampant author Dan Mersey provides rules and stats for the Fourth Punic War. In our penultimate article, we return to all things digital, with WI stalwart Don Saw taking us on an introductory tour around the world of online 3D print offerings. We conclude this month's magazine with a look at the new Red Dawn starter set from Battlefront. David Bickley integrates the contents of the box into his Cold War Gone Hot games. 
So there you have it, WI422, the February 2023 issue of War Games Illustrated magazine. You can find it in the UK at WH Smith, Big Tesco, Sainsbury's. You can also get it in the US at Barnes & Noble, and you can find it at hobby shops all over the world. Best way to make sure you get a copy is to subscribe via wargamesillustrated.net. You can also buy individual copies there. Oh, and you can also get subscriptions from our partners Ironheart Artisans in the US and Karki & Green in Australia. So there you go, make sure you look out for it, French resistance fighters on the streets of Paris. This video has been brought to you by WI Prime, Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club. View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.